just received a phone call from one of my customers down here in South Alabama. We're gonna go out on site with him today. We are dense packing fiberglass this morning. We are going to help him set up his machine correctly with the right pressures, making sure that he has the right transition on his hoses. Then we're going to go inside and make sure that the uh, netting that he's put into place is sound and going to hold up against the pressure that we're putting it in. The reason we put this insulation in with pressure is so that over time the insulation will not settle in the walls. A lot of uh, concerns over the past few decades have found that when you take the drywall off of a, an existing structure that's been done this way, uh, there's like a four inch gap sometimes at the top of the wall system where the cellulose or the fiberglass has settled down. When you apply pressure in the installation, then you're guaranteeing the fact that it is stabilized. It is not going to go anywhere and you have packed that wall full. And uh, so for fiberglass, you're looking at 2.5 PSI in that range. And for cellulose, you're looking in the range of 3.5, give or take 0.5 on each side of that. Cool Machine has a built-in air gauge. So we're gonna show uh, this customer how to utilize that and to set his pressures correctly. Hey guys, we're here in Alberta, Alabama. We're in a, a 1950s farmhouse and uh, we're doing a complete remodel on the job and I've been asked to come in as the insulation contractor to uh, re-insulate this house properly. So right now there was no insulation in the walls. Uh, there's a, a perlite insulation up in the attic. So what we're gonna do is we pulled all of the wallboard off the perimeter walls We'll put an R15 insulation value in there, and then up in the attic, we'll come back and we'll blow in uh, 10 inches of insulation to an R30 value. So as you can see, we have a knotty pine wide board. It's a knotty pine, it's 12 inches wide. It covered the entire wall system. We had to pull all of the walls off in order to get the insulation in the walls. There is a uh, fire blocking every 25 inches in the wall. So we pull the wall board off and then we will insulate it properly and then we'll put the wall board back in place. Search insulation machines to find us on YouTube.